Hey guys, it's Shrell here from Sunny Ray and Creations and welcome back to my channel. Today we are finally here with the chip bag design video. I know it's been what almost a month since I made my chip bag template. Yeah, today I want to do I don't know, I'm going to do something I haven't done yet and I haven't done of Rugrats theme. I see that's pretty popular right now. So maybe we'll do Rugrats. So I'll come here. And as you guys can see, I have Rugrats PNGs. When you see the white background, usually it means it's a PNG. So you see here how I open it. There's no background. That's what a PNG is. If you are not aware of what a PNG is, it's basically it has no background. So all these are PNGs. And you can look over here on the corner to see that there's no background when I click on it. So I found all these right on Google. Okay, so now we're going to go into Photoshop. We're going to basically start. So if you guys have not seen my other video, I'll show you guys how to make this whole template from scratch in Photoshop. So this is the template I made. And if you guys made it too, this is the template you will have. The so first thing I like to do is I like to, I like to decide which background I'm going to have. So, um, or if the client has a specific color they want, like say they want more purple, then find a background that has more purple. If they want more blue, find a background with more blue. So you basically, you're going to be going off of what your client wants. Or if they already have party favors, have them show you what they already have. So you could get a, you can kind of match everything and kind of have everything look good together you don't want them to have a whole bunch of blue stuff and then you make all your party favors like purple you know it's not gonna look right but i like to just i come over here i usually bring this right here and i find a background i like so i'll just browse here so maybe we'll do this dark theme okay yeah so i think we're gonna use this and we don't want it to cover the top and bottom the red part so we're gonna come over here I'm going to make this so you guys could have more room in on here. We're going to come over here to our layers. And you see how this is on top of the, the red part here. We want to drag this right underneath there. That way it will be underneath. And then I'm going to take it and we're going to come here to the move tool. Or you can hit V on your keyboard and we're just going to move that over here. And then we're gonna have to duplicate it so it could be over here. So I'm gonna come over here, right click, duplicate layer, enter, and then we're gonna move it again and move it right next to it. Um, if it doesn't match, just kind of try to line it up. So as you can see, I'm gonna use, use one of these sides to line it up with something over here. So I'm gonna use this sprinkle here and line it up with another sprinkle. It's probably going to line up to, let's see, and I just, oh, my bad, wrong layer. So we're going to drag it, and we're just going to kind of try to line it up with the other stuff. So it's supposed to line up right here. And then you can use your arrows on your keyboard to get it closer. And that should be perfect. Okay, we need to move up a little bit more. And then let's see, oh, probably one more. I'm a perfectionist, so if you don't really care, then you know, you do you girl, do you. But I like mine to look really good. There we go. So now we have a seamless background just by overlapping those. I have my background change and now we need to figure out what color we want to do the top and bottom i think i'm gonna go more with a purple theme so i'm gonna double click this right here this is where the top and bottom red layers are we're gonna double click that and i'm gonna go to color overlay and then make sure you click on the actual cover overlay we're gonna go to the color the yellow doesn't look bad either though um and then we're going to do the eyedropper. We're going to click on the color here. And it's going to bring up this. And we're going to come. We're just going to click colors. I'm going to click colors that are already over here. So we could do... No. Or we could do pink. Mm, I kind of like the yellow. 
but I think I kind of want it to be like a deeper yellow. Okay, so I like this color, so I think I'm going to go and I'm going to play with the saturations with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to com combine these two layers together. So how do you do that is you click on one, you're going to get hit shift, click on the other, then you're going to hit command E on your um, keyboard if you have a MacBook. So this made it all one layer. So if I try to move it, it's not going to be two different pieces. It made it one big piece. And I think we're going to copy this. And I want to play with the saturation and stuff. So hue and saturation. I want to try to make it more the yellow to match that yellow. Because I like that yellow. So the hue should do it. So boop. See, I just play with that a little bit. And we'll play with the saturation to brighten up the pinks and stuff. Like that. Now it matches more. So we're going to go here. Then I'm also going to take this. Select the hue and saturation layer I just made along with the original copy. So hit shift. Both layers. Command E. Now it's on one layer. That way if I drag anything else underneath that hue and saturation layer, it won't affect that. All right, so now we have that done, and I think that looks good. And what we're going to do now, we're going to change our barcode. What I'm going to do with my barcode, because you can't see anything over here. I'm going to leave it black, but I'm going to do a outer glow. So I just double-clicked it. This screen popped up, and as you can see, it'll make it pop more. And we could also change this color. So maybe we'll do like the pink or the light blue. Light blue is cute. So I think we'll do the light blue. And then we have to change where it says happy birthday underneath it as well. So we could do a stroke for that if we really wanted to. So let's see. We could stroke it white maybe. Or we could stroke it the blue too. So we'll stroke this color. Maybe we'll do blue too, so it all matches. And, or we could stroke it, make it darker. Mm, I think I kind of like it white. Yeah, so we'll leave the happy birthday in white. So now you can see this over here. And then we could also change this. The over here it says thank you for coming to my party um if so you just go here if you don't have this character thing here you're gonna go to windows and hit on character and it'll bring up the window and i just slide it over here and i just drag it sometimes i'll pop it up like at the extra window here but if you just select that window and drag it over here it'll leave it here permanently unless you unselect this so if i unselect this it disappears so if i go to windows characters that's how i get all this right here so i can change the color and everything easily so we're gonna just make that white for now just so you guys can see i moved this a little bit so we're gonna drag that down all righty so now we are going to input other artwork so we're gonna come here And I think I'm going to make a thing with the client's name. We could do this here. And then we're going to put a text and put their name. We could do all caps Tasha. And we're going to make that black like so. Then we're going to change the font. I actually have a font called the Rugrats. And this font I just found on Google. I believe I brought it up for you. If you go Google Rugrats font, it should pop right up. Uh, and then I click this image here. I will try to leave it in the description box for you guys if you guys want to make a Rugrats one. But yeah. It's just this right here. I downloaded it. 
and that's what I have. And now, if you see the, the regular Rugrats logo, it also has colors in between. So how we're going to do that is we are going to come here to the paintbrush tool. And we're going to make sure we have the shape set to a circle. And then we're going to go to, we're going to make a new layer. So go to layer, new layer. Boom. And we're going to put that on top of, we're going to move the layer on top of the Rugrats um, outline, but underneath the text. And then your brush, you're going to have to make smaller because we are not going to need it that big. And I'm doing mine at 84. I think that's perfect. And then we're going to just come here and select different colors. So if I come here. I double click that I'll bring this up we're gonna select the blue and then we're gonna rotate the white and then we're gonna select the yellow we're gonna put all these colors into here and then you're just gonna start painting different in different places and then have this arrow we're gonna do some blue and maybe some blue right here and then we're gonna select the pink and we're gonna rotate it and select the darker blue now we have the name like the regular regrets and I'm gonna clean mine up a little bit so I'm gonna come here to the eraser tool and I'm gonna select the circle we could leave it like that and I'm just like under the a how that's not perfect I'm gonna delete that there um, I might also change the color of the name. Let me see. I think the red rest is actually, yeah, it's purple. So maybe we'll change the name to an actual, like, dark purple. I'm gonna come here. We'll see how that look. Like that. Oh, yeah. I like that. So we're gonna do that. And I want the name to kind of pop so to do that, we're going to double click the name. But I know I'm doing a lot. You guys don't have to do all this. I'm just showing you guys how I design today. So I'm going to go to this bevel and emboss thing. We're going to click that. And you see that makes it a little bit. Let me zoom in a little bit more for you guys. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay. So we're going to double click the text. I'm going to hit the bevel and emboss. And you see it gives it a little bit of texture in 3D. So we're just going to come and play with that. Um, I'm going to hit emboss. And I'm just going to play around with these levels here to try to get something I like. Oh, I kind of like that one. So I like that. And then I'm also going to do like a drop shadow. Just to give it a little bit of darkness. But we're going to move it so it's not. So, okay, far out. We're going to lighten it a little bit. And we're going to make it closer to the actual font. So like that, and as you can see, we went from a plain born text to a little extra. So now we have the name done, and now we're just gonna insert some of the characters. So we're gonna come here, and I'm gonna try. Then we could put something here. You could either put, I like to put a picture of a child if they want that. Or you could find something else. So if not, we could put like this from Tommy's shirt. Or we could put Reptar. Um, something else that has to do with the Rugrats. We could do the Nickelodeon thing. We could do Tommy's ball. I think I'll do this. Then we'll make it a little smaller like that 
and maybe we'll add a little glow to it or a stroke so it pops out more. Okay, so I think we're going to do like a pattern overlay. We something like this to bring out more purple. Because there's not too much purple. Like I did the name of purple, but there's not really purple anywhere else. So I kind of want to incorporate some purple. So we're going to change that to purple. Alright, so we got that. And I think we're basically almost done. Now we're going to change this. Thanks for coming to my party. Um, we could probably do the Rugrats theme. Let's see how it looks. So you just type in Rugrats. Probably change that to maybe purple too. See, I'm just, I'm on a purple cake. I am on a purple cake. We'll do that. And then we could double click it and we could add like a stroke or a glow as well. We're going to come here and I'm going to come. So this is basically the chip bag is done. I'm going to show you how it looks all together. Um, sometimes they do look funny when you do it like this. You're looking like you can't, because like you can't really see the visual. Um, so once you put it together in the mock-up and it folds it and does everything for you, I think it looks really good. Like As you can see, this compared to this, you can't get too much of a visual from this. But once you do the mock-up, you get a real visual of how it's going to look. And I think this came out so good. It's so simple. We didn't do that much work and it looks amazing but yeah i hope you guys are i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know quite a few of you was waiting for this video um if you guys want to see me do other themes chip bags let me know because i will do that as well and if you guys want to see other templates as well because i do do candy bars um by hershey's are my hershey's probably my most popular um candy bar so if you want i can show you guys how to make your hershey's your hershey um template and then we could design those as well but yeah think if you guys want me to slow down and show you a process in photoshop um even more precise then let me know i would do that for you guys i know i kind of started speeding up a little bit because I did do a lot of repetitive stuff. Like I did a lot of the outlines. I did a lot of the glows around the stuff. Like around the barcode. And around the texts. I did glow stuff. If you guys want me to like do step by step tutorial. On how to actually do that slow. And just a separate video. I'm willing to do that as well. But yeah. That's basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did please give me a huge thumbs up. And please, if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because it really helps me out and lets me know that you guys like these videos and you want to see more. But I'm going to stop rambling now and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.